Alright everyone, well in this video I'll be showing you how to create an NFS file sharing system in Ubuntu server. And for this example it will be if you've created a NAS and you want to access it from like a single user, maybe on different machines, it doesn't matter, but I'll be covering both the server and client side of the setup. So to install the NFS system on the server, type in sudo apt-get install nfs-kernel-server. So yes. Right, you get a warning here about not starting the NFS kernel daemon because of no exports. That is what we're going to create now, the export list. So sudo nano etc exports. And it gives you a couple of examples here, but the one that I would like to create is this. So choose the mount point first, and tab along, and then set your network IP range. Probably most likely on home system is going to be 192.168.1.0 slash. You can also use the notation of slash 24, but I've just gone for 255, 255, 255, 0. So that means anything in the range of 192.168.62.0 to 62.255 is in that range. I'm giving read write privileges, synchronizing between read and write, disabling root user access, and doing the subtree check. That seems to be like a default option for subtree check, but if you set it, you negate any warnings. So control X, Y, enter. That saves the file. Now I'm going to start up the NFS kernel service. So that's sudo service nfs kernel server start. And if all being well, you'll get a simple little report like that that it started. If you've got any problems within your export list, it'll tell you at this point. And you might want to go and stop the service and then change your export list. So that covers the server side. Now for the client side of the setup. Well, I've now got this web page up and running with most of the instructions on. So we're starting here for the NFS clients. So you'll need to install the package on here, the NFS common package. That's sudo apt-get install NFS common. I already have that on my system, so I shall skip that part. Now you've got a couple of options on creating the mount point. You can either create it under the mount folder, or you could create it under your home folder. So I've actually gone for both setups on my system. So my music folder is actually connected onto the NAS, so that's an NFS file share. And then I've got the rest of the share connected via the MNT folder. If you want to do it via the MNT folder, it's sudo mkdir slash mnt slash and whatever you would like to call the NFS mount point. And now to edit fstab, that's sudo dash capital H kate slash etc slash fstab. As you can see, I already have my mount points on here. So the format of it is the server IP address, colon, then the mount point on your server, and tab, then the mount point on your client machine, the word NFS, and then the options, followed by another tab, then zero tab two, or you could do zero tab zero. Right, a brief look at the options list. So I have gone for read write, soft, determines the behavior of the NFS client when the NFS requests timeout, so that's if the server has gone offline. So soft will return an error to the application, whereas hard will it will just keep trying and trying. Inter allows NFS request to be interrupted if the server goes down or can't be reached. Yeah. No A time limits the number of writes on the file systems. You're not writing when the file was last accessed. Set the timeout the read size and the write size. Now, I was playing around with the read write sizes and for my system I found that those two sizes work pretty well there so 
oh, this is multiples of 1024, so that's 262,144 for the read and 65,536 for the write. Going slightly slow on the write speed because it's a bit slower to write onto a RAID 5. Once you've done that, just close and save. And then to try it out, you just do sudo mount a. And if all being well, you won't see any messages. If there are any error messages, then you need to go back and edit the fstab file again. But that's the only time you need to do that because when you go and reboot, that's it, the file system will automatically mount. There you go, that's how to create an NFS file sharing system in Ubuntu. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.